And Joe Biden continues transition planning in Wilmington, Delaware, but those efforts are still being blocked by President Trump's appointee in the General Services Administration. She has not yet recognized an election winner. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. President-elect Joe Biden will be speaking with a bipartisan group of governors today as the coronavirus surges in nearly every state. He's meeting virtually with nine Democratic and Republican members of the National Governors Association Leadership Committee. Heading into the holidays, you're facing a, a, uh, another surge in infections, hospitalizations, and death. And it's putting huge pressure on your hospitals and your doctors, your nurses. The president-elect stepped up his calls for the Trump administration to allow for the formal transition process to begin, emphasizing the delay could hurt his administration's ability to fight the pandemic. My transition team hasn't been able to get access to information we need to be able to deal with everything from testing and guidance to the all-important issue of vaccines, distributions, and vaccinations. The White House Coronavirus Task Force is expected to meet this afternoon for the second time this week, as health officials are urging more to be done to slow the spread. CBS News has learned some current and former government officials have had limited discussions with the Biden transition team, even as President Trump continues to fight the election results. In Georgia, the Secretary of State says the audit of votes there has shown no evidence of widespread fraud. The recount being done in Georgia will tell us nothing because these fraudulent ballots will just be counted again because they wouldn't supply the signatures to match. The Trump campaign is also seeking a recount in two Wisconsin counties Mr. Biden won. And in Pennsylvania, the president's legal team revised a lawsuit challenging one and a half million mail-in and absentee votes. A new poll shows 73 percent of Americans believe President-elect Biden won the election. But nearly 70 percent of Republicans surveyed say they're concerned the election was rigged. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, The White House. The Trump campaign is also fighting the certification of votes. And thousands of service members with post-traumatic stress disorder will have their less than honorable discharges reconsidered. That's thanks to a settlement the U.S. Army made in a federal lawsuit. The lawsuit covers veterans nationwide who did not get fully honorable discharges because of minor misconduct, blaming blamed on undiagnosed PTSD and other health conditions. Veterans say their discharge status prevented them from getting military-funded health care and other benefits. And Hurricane Iota has left behind a trail of destruction in its wake in Central America. At least four people were killed after a landslide in Nicaragua. Thousands of homes were also destroyed. It hit as a Category 5 hurricane on Monday with winds of 160 miles per hour before weakening as it moved into neighboring Honduras. Authorities have confirmed more than two dozen dead there. Central America is still reeling from the impact of Ada, another major hurricane that hit two weeks ago. And coming up on Valley News Live at 4, the pandemic is taking a huge economic toll, but you have options if you're strapped for cash. We'll have the details next.